Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a simple pivot table, how you can change the data displayed in that pivot table to show percentage difference, and also how you can use the percentage total in the pivot table. So on the screen, I've got three examples, those three examples that I've just mentioned there. The top one is just a straightforward pivot table based on this data on the left here. Uh, this one is showing the percentage difference just for the UK. These are the actual figures, and this is the percentage difference there. So you can see that 160, 80, 100% increase difference. And this one, the last one, is still looking at the UK only, but showing you the percentage of the total for the four quarters. So the first quarter is only 12, so and, and a little bit of percentage of the overall total. So the third quarter is the best in terms of percentage and numbers. So that's what I want to do. I want to quickly recreate that. So what I'll do is I'll just copy all this data and just drop it onto a, a second sheet. I'll just copy that. Give myself a second sheet and paste it in there so we can start from scratch. Now to create a pivot table, you go insert either on the ribbon, if you've got the ribbon activated or the menu. Pivot table is the first option, clicking on that. It's picking up the current selection. So you must have titles across the top. And if you've got gaps, you'll need to select it yourself. Now pick an OK to that and it starts off the process. So the first one is just a straightforward pivot table where I want to display by quarter in rows. So I'll just drag that down there. And then I want a, a sum of each country. So I'm just basically pulling each one into this data field area. So it will sum it up. If I click on Japan, you can see that. If I just click OK to that, see what it does. It drops it on a separate sheet. Now, I don't really want that. I could, if I wanted to, just cut that back and bring it, cut it and just bring it back to the same page, put it where I want it, up there. But I could have done that through the process, and I'll do that on the next one. So that's a straightforward pivot table, which is looking at this data. And as this data changes, you would have to refresh this. If you go to the data tab at the top there, you've got the pivot table tools sitting there um, with the fresh refresh option. You must refresh data before you use a, use a pivot table. If you don't want it to say some of UK, you can just over type that and put UK, US, etc. And retype it as long as it's not the same name um, as the field names, you'll be OK. So. What I forgot to do there was do a little space after it and it let me do it. So I can't type the same. Like I'll just leave it like that. And, just, and when I click away, it's ignoring me. So I need to put FR space because that's like a different word. And then Jap space. And then I can do it like that. So I've renamed that. Now to create um, percentage totals, I'll just do it for the UK one. So I'm back into this source data. I'm going back up to insert pivot table current selection yep so this time i just want the i want quarter in rows still so i just want the uk in there and i'm going to bring it down twice so uk down twice now on the second one i'm going to double click on it and it gives me these options now you can see there you can change i could have done that on this one i could have changed it to count average max min etc but that's not what I, want, what I want to do for this little example. I want to go into this bit down the bottom here, clicking on that. And it's got defined value and it's on normal. But in there, one of the options there you've got is percentage of total. I'm clicking on that. And it's already, it's already got the quarter. That's the only options it's got. So I'm happy with that. I'm clicking OK. But now I want to have this sit in there. So if I go to this little plus, open that up. So I've got selection. I can sort of click on there and type where I want it to go or select where I want it to go. Let's see what happens if I just put G8 in there and then click OK. No, I didn't like that. So I'll have to do that again. So I'll bring that quarter into there. UK into there twice. And then click on the second one. Go to value, open that up, normal, percentage of total. 
and then OK to that. And then if I click on this, selection, and then basically I need to make a selection of where I want it to go. So now it's not letting me select anywhere. Now it is, so I'll just it just needs to go there really. It's a bit fiddly that one. Click OK to that. Open that, see what happens. So it's dropped it in there. And that was a sheer fluke that I grabbed the right size. I didn't even think about that. But there you've got the totals and then the percentage total. And again, you can change the label. So if I go percentage total, so it makes more sense. And then I'll just put UK with a space after it there so you can see that. So that's that one. Now, there is another one I want to do, which is percentage difference. And again, I'm going to just use the UK. So I'm going back into my source data, going back up to insert, pivot table. Yep, OK. So I still want to do the same thing. So quarter is going into rows, and I want the UK in there. But I want it in there twice again, so you can see the difference. So on the second one, I'm going into it and I'm going down to display value, display value, changing normal. So I want percentage difference from quarter and then starting on the first quarter. So there'll be one item will be blank. I'll click OK to that. And then I'm going to do this bit again. So I want it to go into where I tell it to go. So let's see if I can do it like this this time. So it's, a bit, it's not really letting me do that. I need to click on this. And then see if it lets me do it. Okay, in and there. Okay, so let me do it now. Bring that back up. Click OK. So you've got the. I'll put the word total in there. And then in there, that's going to be percentage difference. Percentage diff. I'll just put that. And you can see that 160 over 80. That's 100% increase. So that's giving you the correct information. But all of these pivot tables will need to be refreshed if this source data changes. So that's the straightforward pivot table. That's showing you the percentage total on the pivot table. And that's showing the percentage difference on the pivot table. And if you need to get back into it, you can go back up there, go into the pivot table, and you can make some changes, or do whatever you need to do in here. If you want, you can move this to the roll, see what happens. You might want it this way around if I click OK. Go like that with Control Z undo. Did like that, so I'm leaving it as it is. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully that's um, helped you achieve what you're after in terms of pivot tables, getting the best out of Libre Office Calc. So hopefully you're happy with that. Thanks for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.